Hi! So for today, we're going to talk about the determinant and inverse of a matrix. So how do we find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix as well as a 3 by 3 matrix? And in terms of inverse matrix, how do we find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix since this is uh, an algebra uh, video, tutorial video. So let's get started. So how do we determ uh, determine the determinant of a matrix, let's say a given matrix A? Now, here is a wonderful thing that you need to remember in evaluating the determinant. You can only evaluate a determinant okay, of a given matrix if the given matrix is a square matrix. Okay, I repeat. If the given matrix is a square matrix, meaning the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. Unless otherwise, you cannot evaluate the determinant of a certain matrix. So the matrix should be a square matrix. Okay? And also in, in evaluating the inverse because in the inverse process, you're going to get the determinant. So the, the matrix should be a square matrix. Okay, So let's get started. How do you find the determinant of this? The determinant is actually denoted by an absolute value okay, or a two parallel lines in between the matrix. Okay, So how do we find the determinant of this uh, matrix 1, 2, 0, 3? As you can see here, the determinant of this matrix is actually, or the size of this matrix or dimension of this matrix is a 2 by 2. So therefore, we can get the determinant. How do we find the determinant? Okay, very simple. In a 2 by 2 matrix, we can, it's actually the diagonals, okay? We get the, uh, the product of the diagonals, okay? So we have 1 multiplied by 3 in this case. And then we're going to minus that to the other diagonal, okay? In the matrix, okay? The sum of the diagonal. So we have... Uh, the product of the diagonal. So we have 0 times 2. So in this case, 1 times 3 is 3. 0 times 2 is 0. So the determinant of this matrix is simply 3. Okay? The determinant is always a value. Okay? So there is a formula in determinant in getting 2 by 2. But I would not recommend you to memorize that. Okay? Because it's not always the case. So... Uh, let's try another one. If we have a matrix B that is uh, 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. Okay? So, how do we get the determinant of B? Okay? So, we have 2, negative 1, and 1, and 2. So, again, we need to get the, okay, the product of their diagonal. So, we have 2 times 2, first diagonal, and we have another diagonal here. That is minus, okay? That is always minus if we are evaluating the product in this direction of diagonal, okay? Minus 1 times the negative 1. Be, please be really careful in the sign. So we have 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Distributing the negative sign, that is 4 plus 1. And we have 5 as our determinant. So now let's proceed to another problem. So we have matrix C. Okay, find the uh, determinant of that. So we have 1, 1, and we have 2 and 3. Okay, so what will happen if we get the uh, determinant of that? 1 times 3. 1 times 3 minus we have 2 times 1. 2 times 1. So that is basically 3 minus 2. And we have a determinant of 1. That is how simple we get the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay? So how about this? We have a matrix D. Okay? Our given is 1, 1. We have 2, 3 here. And 0, 1. Okay? How do we get the determinant of this? Think for a second. Think for a second. Okay? We cannot get the determinant of this. Because this is not a square matrix not a square matrix okay not okay so we cannot actually get the determinant of that okay so for letter e matrix e okay get the determinant of 1 0 1 2 2 3 negative 1 
1, and 5. Okay? This is a 3 by 3 matrix. And evaluating the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is much more different in evaluating 2 by 2 matrices. So what are we going to do here is if we encounter a 3 by 3 matrix, in order for us to get the determinant of that, what will happen is that we have E. To get the determinant of E, we have 1, 0, 1. We have 2, 2, 3. And negative 1, 1, 5. And what are we going to do? The easiest way to do it, aside from cofactor, okay, we are going to copy okay, the first two columns of the uh, matrix. So we have 1, 0, 1, 2, 2, and 3. And we're going to apply the same thing as what we have uh, performed in getting the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So what are we going to do? We're going to multiply, okay, get the sum of the diagonals, okay, the pro sum of the products of the diagonals here, 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 and we're going to multiply to, to, to subtract it to the sum of the diagonals on the other side of the diagonal. So what are we going to do? First, let me just uh, repeat it again. So what are we going to do first is we're going to get the product of this. Okay? Upon getting the product of that, let's write. So we have 1 times 2 times 5. Okay? Plus sum of the products. Okay? Of this other diagonal so we have uh plus two times one times one okay another diagonal plus okay plus this which has actually zero so any number multiplied by zero will become zero okay so we get the sum of the products of the diagonals here and that would be subtracted by the diagonals, by the sum of the diagonals, sum of the products of the diagonals of this. So we have, okay, we multiply that, okay, 1 times 2 times negative 1. This is 1, this is 2 times negative 1, and again, the other diagonal, we're going to uh, add it, okay, plus, okay, 3 times 1 times 1, and again, Plus, on the other last diagonal, so we have 5 times 0 times 2. Well, definitely, any number multiplied by 0 would be 0 here. Okay? And evaluate. So, 5 times 2 times 1 is 10. Plus 2 times 1 times 1, that is plus 2. Okay? Minus, okay? If we simplify this, take note of the minus sign. Okay? Take note of the minus sign. Okay? You have to evaluate this first before distributing the minus sign. Okay? So, for you not to be confused, okay? There are uh, techniques also that they already distribute this, okay? But for me, as uh, the way I solved it, this is, the, this is my process, okay? So, we have 1 times 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2, plus 3 times 1 times 1, that is plus 3. So, upon solving this, we have 12 minus, okay? Negative 2 plus 3, that is 1. So, we have 12 minus 1. That is basically 11. So that is the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. And if I'm not mistaken, the method that we have used in copying the first two columns of the matrix is what we call the basket method. Okay? So if I'm not mistaken, okay, let's try again another problem for a 3 by 3 matrix. So it is important to get the determinant of uh, 3 by 3 or 2 by 3 to learn how to get the determinant because in the Kramer school, you're going to use it, okay, to find the values of the unknown in a given systems of linear equation. So we have 0, negative 3, we have 1, 2, 4, 2, we have 1, 2, and 3. So if I'm going to get the determinant of this uh, uh, matrix, okay, I'm going now to copy the first two columns of this. And perform the same thing as what we did a while ago. That is to get the sum of their products of this diagonal, this diagonal, this diagonal, minus the diagonal of this. So let's try to uh, let's try to compute that again. So we have 0 times 4 times 3, that is 0, plus this, 
2 times 2 times 1, okay? This diagonal plus summation of the products of the diagonal. So, we have 1 times negative 3 times 2 minus, okay? Minus. Minus the sum of the products of the other diagonal. So, we have 1 times 4 times 1. Okay, let me just rewrite it so for you not to be confused. Plus, okay, this one, 2 times 2 times 0. Okay, if we multiplied any number to 0, that would be 0. Plus, we have, again, 3 times negative 3 times 2. Okay, so we have, I hope you can follow, okay, my discussion. So we have 2 times 2 times 1, that is 4. Okay, negative 3 times 2, that would be negative 6 minus, okay, 1 times 4 times 1, that's 4. This term is negative 9 times 2, that would be negative 18. Okay, so we have 4 minus 6, that is negative 2 minus. 4 minus 18 is negative 14. Okay, so performing this, we have negative 2, distribute the minus sign, this becomes plus 14. And negative 2 plus 14 is 12. So, this should be our determinant. Pretty easy, right? The first thing to do, if we have a 3 by 3 matrix, the first thing to do is to actually what? Copy the first two columns of the matrix. And we can only again evaluate determinants if the matrix is a square matrix. Okay. How about finding the inverse of the matrix? Inverse of matrix. In this video, I would only show you how to find the inverse matrix of a 2 by 2 uh, matrix. So, if we are given a matrix, okay, such that we have this element A, B, C, D, okay, the inverse matrix denoted by a raised to negative 1, inverse of that matrix is 1 over the determinant of that matrix multiplied by the matrix of D, C, negative B, and negative... Uh, negative B, I, I mean, this is negative D, negative B, and negative C, and A. Right? So this would be our formula for evaluating the 2 by 2 inverse matrix. Okay, so what happened here? 1 over the determinant of A, we know how to get the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. And that is multiplied by the matrix, which is actually the values of A and B are switched off. Okay, they are switched. This is in row 1, column 1. Okay, now, but before it is in the row 2, column 2. And the value of A or the, the A is now switched from row 1, column 1 to row 2, column 2. And we add negative, we multiplied negative to our B and to our element C. So, how do we do that? For example, we have a matrix A that is 4, 5, 2, 3. This is a square matrix, so definitely we can get the determinant of this. The determinant of A is what? 4 times 3, okay, that is 12. Minus the other diagonal, 2 times 5 is 10. So, 12 minus 10 is 2. Okay? So, and what are we going to do? To get the inverse, simply what will happen? 1 over 2. Because that is the determinant. That is the determinant A. Okay? Multiplied by, okay, what is our D? In this case, this is our A. This is our B. This is our C and this is our D. So what will happen? Our D would be switched off to row 1, column 1. So we have 3 here. And our B would be negative, which is negative 5. Because that is our formula. And for our C, it would become negative. This is our C. And our A, okay, will be placed here. Okay. That is simple as a scalar multiplication of some number to a matrix. So, what will happen? To get the inverse of that matrix, we have to multiply all of the elements inside the matrix by one half. So, that it will become three halves, negative five halves, okay, negative two times 
one half that should be negative one, okay, and uh, four over two that should be two. If you are confused, this is the more detailed solution, okay. So three times the one half, okay, negative five times the one half. So we have negative two times the one half, okay. We have four times one half, okay, and the result is this, okay. So this is now our inverse matrix for our matrix A. Okay, let's try again another number. So let's try number 2. Okay, so we have matrix B. So we have here 2, 1, negative 1, and 3. That is our matrix. So again, we need to get the determinant of this. Okay, in order for us to get the matrix or the inverse matrix. So we have 2 times 3, that is 6, minus negative 1 times 1. So that is 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So you will be having a determinant of 6 plus 1. Okay, distributing the negative sign, 7. That is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And again... If you're going to get the inverse of that matrix, that is 1 over the determinant of B multiplied by what? This is D, this is A, this is negative B, this is negative C. Okay, so what will happen? We have 1 over 7. Okay, our A, our D here is 3. Our B here is 1. So we negate that. It became negative 1. And we have C here which is negative 1, if we negate negative 1, that should become positive 1, and our A here is 2. Okay? So again, multiplying all of the elements by 1 over 7, we shall get the inverse of the matrix B as 3 over 7, negative 1 over 7, and we have 1 over 7, and we have 2 over 7. Okay? That should be our inverse matrix for our 2 by 2, okay, for our 2 by 2 uh, matrix, okay, for our last example for this video, I think, so we shall evaluate the inverse of C, negative 2, 1, negative 3, and 6, okay, so get the determinant of C, the determinant of C is 2 times, negative 2 times 6, that is negative 12 minus negative 3 times 1. That is, oops, that is negative 3 times 1. That is negative 3. So we have negative 12. Distribute the negative sign. That should become 3. Uh, and we have a determinant of negative 9. Okay. And again, applying our formula. C inverse. Okay. 1 over negative 9 multiplied by, we have here a D and A, we have negative B and negative C here. So we have C raised to negative 1. We have negative 1 over 9 of what is our D? That is 6. Okay. What is our negative B? That is negative 1. Negative of C, negative of negative. This should become, that's right, 3. And we have A, which is a negative 2. So and simplifying, we have negative 6. Okay. Multiply that by negative 1 over 9. Okay, let me just rewrite this. So what will happen? C inverse. So we have now negative 6 over 9. We have now 1 over 9 because negative 1 over 9 multiplied by negative 1, that should become positive. And we have negative 3 over 9. We have Negative 1 over 9 times negative 2, that becomes positive 2 over 9. And simplifying, we have lowest term, this should be negative 2 thirds, 1 over 9. And this should be negative 1 third and 2 over 9. And this should be our, okay, our answer for getting the inverse of this matrix C. So, as you can see, it's pretty much easy if you know how to determine the determinant of some matrices, okay? Of a 2 by 2 and as well as a 3 by 3 matrix. And thank you so much for listening. This is again Engineer Abba.